the Okocha River State Representative and the NDDC Board inspected ongoing projects in River State and the Niger Delta region, including modern two-bedroom and three-bedroom apartments for teachers and principals. He urged that support for Tinubu's renewed hope agenda and warned against unnecessary protests. This project is a project, one of the projects of Mr. President, Bola Ahmed Bebuti. And it is consistent with his team, Renewed Hope. In addition to seeing how our projects are going, is to sermonize, to preach against violence. Protest is legal, is constitutional. The Constitution allows protest as an avenue for anybody to be able to press down his or her needs. So if our people from here are even thinking of protesting, nobody can gag you. What we will only say is that let the protest be as peaceful and let the essence of it be what will be done. But seeing that day you come and help us to flag up this thing, we are happy. Because since 1957, Shell came in and influenced a tech top like this COP19. They came back again in 1958. The Uechem people we have been suffering a lot. We have about 40 locations and nothing is done to us. But today, I'm telling you we are happy. The entire Uechem people are happy. Because it's through you, we know that the president is aware of us, he are coming. But except that the idea maybe will not reach us. But my God, please. Soko community is nearing completion of a 10,000 gallon solar powered portable water project aimed at controlling cholera outbreaks and demonstrating President Tinubu's commitment to improving lives in River State. These projects are done under the renewed hope agenda. It was the president that authorized NDDC to go to the region and develop the region. If one serves very well, I will have no reason to fail. So we use this opportunity to plead with our people who are somewhat misled to believing that protests or any of such things can be a solution to the problems of Nigeria. The problem of Nigeria didn't start with Bola Ahmed It's an, been an age-long thing. He needs your prayers and not condemnation so far. The Rodati representative in the court, Chief uh, Tony Okota, he has been very instrumental to alleviating the pains, the server from the pains of the community. Now you are reason why solar water. The water here is so that it is hard. How does that mean that magnets and calcium? So you can do a constation. A constation, for those who do not understand, corrosion. If you fetch bucket and all that, it corrodes it. That is one of the things. So they, this project was intended to address it, so that it is these contaminants in water that causes the gastrointestinal and other waterborne diseases. So that is what this project is set to address. Now, the, the community is not then uh, powered by electric grid, elect, the, the national grid. What we use is generator, and all of us know the problems of generator, epileptic nature and all that, swelling, dieseling and all that. Let there be solar. The sun is free for us to use. That is the essence of designing and executing a, power, a solar based 10,000 gallons of water. Uh, Vice President, I praised the NDDC board and management for rewriting history and transforming the agency, urging people to support President Tinubu's administration and promising people-oriented projects. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.